merchant here who insists on coming to the bridge. I'll come aboard the Enterprise here, Mr. Wolf. Thank you, sir. The Defiant. Adrift, but salvageable. Tough little ship. Little? Mr. Wolf, we could use some help at Tactical. You do remember how to fire phasers. Sensors show chronometric particles emanating from the sphere. They're creating a temporal vortex. Time travel. Data, report. We appear to be caught in a temporal wake. Captain. Earth. The atmosphere contains high concentrations of methane, carbon monoxide, and fluorine. Life signs? Population approximately 9 billion. All Borg. How? They must have done it in the past. They went back and assimilated Earth, changed history. But if they changed history, why are we still here? Temporal wake must have somehow protected us from the changes in the timeline. Sir, the vortex is collapsing. Hold your course, Mr. Hawk. We must follow them back. Repair whatever damage they've done. Tomorrow. One of the things you should have learned about me by now is that I don't have regrets. Come on, Lily, one more. Z, Z, you had enough. Huh? You're going up in that thing with a drunken pilot. Well, I sure as hell am not going up there sober. What is that? That was the constellation Leo. No, that. After all these years? We gotta get to the Phoenix! <sighs> to hell with the Phoenix. Long-range sensors are offline. Main power is holding. According to our astrometric readings, we are in the mid-21st century. From the radioactive isotopes in the atmosphere, I would estimate we have arrived approximately 10 years after the Third World War. Makes sense. Most of the major cities have been destroyed. Very few governments left. 600 billion dead. No resistance. Captain. Mr. Wolf, quantum torpedoes. Ready, sir. Fire. They were firing at the surface. Location? Western Hemisphere. North American continent. It's like a missile complex in central Montana. Missile complex. The date. Data. I need to know the exact date. April 4th, 2063. April 4th, the day before first contact. Precisely. Then the missile complex must be where Zephyr Cochran is building his warp ship. That's what they came here to do, stop first contact. How much damage, Lieutenant? Can't tell, long-range sensors are still offline. 
We have to go down there, find out what happened. Data, Beverly, you're with me. Have a security team meet us in transporter room three. Computer, mid 21st century civilian clothing. Number one, you have the bridge. Over here. Check the warp ship. The structural integrity of the missile appears to be intact. There is significant damage to various sections of the fuselage system. We should have the original blueprint in the Enterprise computer. Come on, Lord Ford, we need to bring a team down here. Hold up, fire! We're here to help you! Full shit! Captain, I believe I can handle this. medical attention. Severe theta radiation poisoning. Radiation is coming from the damaged throttle assembly. We are all going to have to be inoculated. And I have to get her to sickbay. Doctor. Please, no lectures about the Prime Directive. I will keep her unconscious. Very well. Tell Commander Riker to beam down with a surge party. We need to find Cochrane. Pressure to Enterprise. Two, to beam directly to sickbay. We have less than 14 hours before the ship has to be launched. The card to engineering. LaForge here. Jordy, Cochrane's ship was damaged in the attack. Get down here with an engineering detail. We have work to do. Right. I'm on my way, Captain. Alpha team, let's assemble in transporter room three. We're heading down to the service. Porter, you're going to be in command till I get back. Hi, sir. And Porter, check out the environmental controls while I'm gone. It's getting a little warm in here. All right, let's go. 